Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the Thierry Zubi and I welcome you on my channel Economics in a Simple and Easy Way where I teach you economic concepts in just a span of 5 minutes. So, as I already told you in my previous video that today in this video I am going to cover your topics like supply curve of a firm under perfect competition, why firm are not normal profit in long run and what is the shutdown point of a firm these three topics i'm going to cover in this video so let's start this video first of all we should see that how supply curve is derived in perfect competition of a firm see at initial level this is a curve of a firm look first first you look at this this is the point of origin we know this is on y-axis price have been taken on x-axis the quality have been taken at initial level prices are p0 and the quantity is q0 and the average revenue in mr is ar mr0 we, because we know that average revenue in mr ar mr is equal to the price in perfect market we have already seen in the previous videos so this is the revenue average revenue marginal revenue of firm firm initial so and this curve is the average variable cost of a firm means where e0 is intersecting means this point a b c this is the average variable cost of a firm is till this point the firm is able to incur its average variable cost means below this point firm is not going to not able to cover any type of cost so this is the e0 is the shutdown point of a firm means if firm goes below this point means below p0 then firm have to shut down this business because firm will go otherwise in losses so this is the e0 is the shutdown point of a firm if pr at price p1 the quantity new quantity is q1 and the equilibrium is even and at this point the the firm is also able to cover variable cost plus average cost also see this is average variable cost so this is the break even point of a firm means here firm is earning neither profit nor loss this is the break even point of a firm and above p1 point prices means at p2 and p3 the firm is earning profit or abnormal or super normal profit because they at p2 and p3 the ar and mr curve is greater than the average ma social marginal cost and variable cost and social average cost means here at p2 and p3 the ar mr curve is greater so p2 and p3 are the points of abnormal profit for the firm and equilibrium at P2 and P3 is E2 and E3. So by joining these two, these four equilibriums E0, E1, E2, and E3, we get the supply curve, which is of upward sloping. So in this way, the supply curve is derived under perfect competition of a firm. Second topic of this lecture is what is the shutdown point of a firm? As we have seen in the previous slide that if the firm is not able to cover its variable cost means if firm producer are not able to pay the wages to the to its labors not able to pay the amount he, he purchased raw materials and interest etc then it's better or best for the producer to close the production for some time because the shutdown period is just temporary so you can see if the firm is not able to cover variable cost then it is best for the firm to shut down or close the production to avoid losses and shutdown is a short run decision means if producer is not able to cover its uh, variable cost then it's best for producer to close down the production and produce nothing So the last topic of this lecture is why firm earn normal profit in case of perfect market in the long run. So the answer to this is that because there is free entry and exit in perfect market in long run. And profit and losses are the signal for the firms to enter in the market or leave the market. For example, if we do the condition of profit, means if any market is receiving profit, then 
it will attract other firms other outside firms to enter in the in that market to earn that profit when other firms new firms start entering in the market then supply increases and supply curve shift upward and when supply curve shift upward the we know that when supply of anything increases then its price start falling down and if price falling down then profits of the producer will fall and this entry will keep continuing till firms in the market start continuing earning normal profit on the second hand if we do the condition of loss means if any firm is incurring losses then existing firm start leaving or exiting the market and when the firm start leaving the market the supply curve shift leftward or backward and means supply is less and when supply of any commodity or anything is less then prices start rising and prices start rising and this entry will keep this exit will keep continuing till the firm all the firms start earning normal profit so this is the reason why firm earn normal profit in long run under perfect market so now this is the end of our first market which is perfect competition so till from next video i'm going to start a new market which is monopoly i hope you are clear with all these terms which i have explained and if you have any doubts regarding this you can ask me in the comment section and you can also ask me on insta my id is in description box and if you find my video useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching this